How you doing? Welcome to Vlog 97. This is later on, right after Vlog 96. Where the Sandboys did not want to eat, now they're eating, so... If y'all want to see Sandboys eating, here y'all go. This is number two tiger and number third number one tiger females. The male ended up eating seven pinky mouse mm -hmm. alive. This is cool to watch. I don't care who you are. And the battery is still dead on this camera, so I'm just gonna roll for you guys until they can't roll no more. There is six. How many is out here? Six or seven? One, two, three, four, five. Seven's out here on the table. Six is in there. I'm trying to plump these beauties up so we can start breeding them for you guys. These are tiger that are hit for albino. Which should be cool. I love how we separate them out of the uh, substrate we keep them on. That way they don't swallow that substrate, the uh, sandy chips that you see right there. And uh, they just crawl around and crawl around and eat. They're really nice. Let's go from one to the next to the next. And these are Mikey's. And these are Mikey's. He said when he braids them he's going to be selling them to his fans for $900,000 a piece. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of, yes. <laughs> that is awesome though, isn't it? I asked him off camera, why $900,000 a piece? He said, you start high, Dad, and then you work your way down. I was like, well, children really are our future. <laughs> He's a businessman through and through, huh? <laughs> that is cool. Sorry for the camera wants to blur in and out. I don't understand why it does that. Y'all do me a favor and go in the comments below and tell me if I am the only one who thinks these look like a CG animated, CGI animated video game or cartoon character when I do get the close up on them. Zoomed in. Just have that look to me. Let me check that out. That is sweet, right? Awesome. World's lar world's smallest constrictor in action right there. And he's just holding this little engine that could while he can. Here. I'll hold your hand for you while you're going through this. Not to be mean or nothing, but just because I would like somebody to hold my hand while I was going through something like this. You know, we gotta ask a question, how many rats we get, go through? We go through 
anywhere from 250 to 300 on a monthly basis and that's not including the pinkies that we go through. The millworms. We go through a ton of millworms too. That's another thing people while I got you on here. I like, you cannot leave these in there with your tarantulas. I love to put these things in there with a tarantula. It's, know, they move a little bit. They can't fight, they're completely harmless. You can't hurt your tarantula. But if they hatch into the next stage, which is these beetles here, I'm going to show you all. This is what comes after. That can and will eat your tarantula alive. Especially if they go into a shed or something. That's happened so many times in the past. So sad. So true. This one has now eaten three of the six that it was did have. This one has eaten two of the seven that it had available. Let's see what kind of millworms you got up there. Wow, that's like awesome and stuff. Sir is a magical mealworm razor. He's got the real nuts all. You guys ask how long we spend up here? All the time. Don't pull up. All the time? I like to put six or seven at a time down here and I like to feed six or seven versus a large meal and the reason for that is if or when boas of any kind eat a large prey item and they feel unsecure with it or not safe or something if they throw it up ever they will always have a problem with throwing up and that is unacceptable for me. So although these are Mikey's, me and Sarah like to monitor what they eat so he has I healthy, like viable stock for all his future breeding projects and he's very intelligent and uh, pays attention to that too so after we taught him that he's like, that mouse is too big for my snake, we gotta give it a little more one. I'm like, okay son. Uh, it's priceless. Mikey knows that really his snakes are on a schedule. He'll remind us on Wednesdays that um, his Sambo is need to eat. Um, he'll remind us on thir Tuesday. He'll be like, Mom, Dad, uh, my snakes have to eat tomorrow. And, um, this battery's fixing to die. This sucks. <laughs> just see how they you're just trying to cut, kind of direct it to where you want it to go and it just goes. I'm gonna let this play until the camera dies, people, but again, I wanna wish y'all peace, love, and happiness and all that good shit. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, share my videos, watch my older videos while you wait for new videos. Because my older videos used to have a badass intro on it. Just can't edit my stuff no more. For whatever reason, I don't know why. Um, maybe we'll get to do better editing and all that kind of stuff in the future. For you guys, but... When you bring awesome to the table like we do... There's no need for editing, really. Just sit back, grab you a popcorn if that's your thing, and... Let the good times roll. Comment and tell us what you guys like to see. Yes. And in this video, write questions on what you would like to ask us. Well, where is that place where they can ask the questions at? You can write get us to them on easy, uh, Sarah Tindall on Facebook or you can write down below in this video. Yep. Alright. We'll try to monitor all of those. This one is now down with 
five, well, five of the six that was in there. And this one's holding one and eating one as we speak. Absolutely awesome. Well, I just got a picture, a view of the breathing tube. Watch people, they can zoom in on it. And the battery don't die. There it is, right? Well, it just popped back in there. I've never seen that on a sand ball or before. That was awesome. You see it on scarves sometimes. There it is, right at the bottom of the lip. It, t it runs that breathing tube out, takes a breath of air, and then it uh, closes. This is probably the last one you're going to be able to see, though, because it is dang. Absolutely awesome little sausages, though.